we have data analysis as a second unit once you complete your database creation of editing then your data are ready now you have to do the analysis right once you have extract mapped entered your non special data then the errors being removed now you have to analyze like why i want to know how many water bodies i have and what is the total area of the road kacha road what is the total length of the road pakka what is the total perennial water bodies what is how much land we have under agriculture how much land we have under forest how much land under we have water bodies how much land we have under waste or fallow these called analysis when you talk about data analysis we have two kinds of data again we have here special data and non special data when you talk special data directly it will show if you ask a query in gis system will show you show me all the pakka roads then all pakka roads will be shown highlighted here and what is the total length as a non special data it will come this is called special analysis it's very simple right you need to analyze it and how many villages having kacha road still you put the query gis what it will do it will show graphical representation as a map form also it will also show as a tabular form with their attributes total length of the kacha roads total length of the pakka roads you will see in the tabular form and also graphical representation exactly how it look like on the earth this two will you can see in the special analysis portion this is the special analysis uh, capabilities and then uh, techniques we have the one is database query which we can say as a non special data and geo spatial measurements what is the length of the water uh, road area of water body individual geographical features could be measure kar sakte hain usko geo spatial measurements bolte hain point line polygon tinu ko measure kar sakta hai you can measure for all three entities and also we have overlap operations one upon another for example we have the soil we have the agriculture land in gis you can create different team wise layer wise all agriculture lands ek layer banaya map banaya soil land ko alag banaya water bodies ko alag banaya if you overlay one upon another you will be knowing by why the agriculture land in this area is where productivity is very high when you overlay your water source map then you will be understanding oh it is a irrigated area because you have plenty of water bodies right so the production of the crop is very high whereas other parts where do not have the water body then that area production is very less or you may say more fallow lands you can compare directly when you do the overlay analysis the overlay operations will help us to find out right why it is maybe less production maybe more fallow lands maybe more agriculture lands the reason can be find out when we go for the overlay analysis we have a proximity analysis which is very very special analysis tools proximity when you go for planning for example i am going to plan one school here when you go for school there is a government guidelines if it is lp school right lp school the lp school must be less than 500 meters accessibility or distance must be less than 500 meters from the settlement area so if when i make it the proximity analysis in gis it will create a 500 meter buffer from that location where you are planning the school so how many villages i can cover in my gram panchayat if i propose this location the only one village for example they make a ring from the point where you have the asset or facility if it is phc otherwise the same school if i propose here then it may cover three villages or even like this no yes it will come within 500 meter so it will make a ring the special extent because all facilities when you go for planning assets when we go for planning this is the accessibility based on the accessibility is very important so whether it is access to the villages or not that we will know with the proximity analysis and also if you overlay i mean if you put a new irrigation canal how much land you can bring it how much fallow land can be brought under agriculture land if you put a new canal through this proximity analysis you can analyze the same when you go for special analysis you can show here as a graphical representation and also you will see the quantification same even agriculture land or whatever anything both you will see and we have network analysis the network analysis basically is to find out the shortest path 
for exports import purpose for maybe vehicle movement maybe even dryness maybe drinking water also use network analysis right when you go for pipeline putting into the pipeline for drinking water accessibility to the villagers which is the shortest path how it should go that will be known when you use a special data special analysis and then we have surface analysis surface analysis means three dimensional view where you have the hilly where you have the valley where you have the plain land you can understand only when you do the surface analysis right tin digital elevation model all this you might have heard right in gis very accurate manner you can do the surface analysis for planning also it is very important because without knowing your physiography you cannot plan for maybe agriculture maybe drinking water maybe anything maybe horticulture crops all horticulture crops will not grow in same elevation to know the elevation you should analyze first your surface analysis right exactly how your physiography look like maybe at block district or state doesn't matter it will be shown in the mappable form that you can do with the surface analysis so these analysis are very very important for planning of any kind any asset any feature even agricultural land or fallow land anything right so here we have when you go for first option that is query vector query raster both data you can ask the query by attribute data by special data by hybrid data query directly you can ask the query in the gis as i said earlier for example in my district how many phcs are available just put a query directly gis will enable in the form of map and also in form of table what are all where is where is those facilities are available quickly you can see when you go for the vector or raster data query and then we have another option is special measurements right it's like measurement of density measurement of distance measurement of length measurement of area any special feature which you see gis quickly could measure here there are measurement tool or when you extract in a table form automatically the length or area will be stored right so if you if you wish to see there is a measurement tool gis from here to here what is the length of the road quickly you can analyze any feature not only road it may be water body it may be agricultural land it may be particular point of the building that also you can measure using these tools all geospatial measurements are can be done using these three types of geospatial <coughs> measures point line polygon tree can be seen then we have neighborhood operations as i said buffer which is very very important neighborhood analysis tool this buffer tool is very very important a buffer tool can be done for point line polygon all three entities you can run the buffer buffer will give you like that ring no which i shown given 100 meter 200 meter 300 meter 1 kilometer 10 kilometer 20 kilometer doesn't matter for example i am putting one facility here for example this community railway uh, radio station i want to establish in the kk and kopen university if i start here i need to pre prepare a proposal that from this point community radio station within 10 kilometer radius how many villages or how many houses i am covering that i can give with the help of gis if i put the query in gis buffer query it will make a ring of 10 kilometers from this point making center of this facility from the kk handy open university it will make a 10 kilometer radius so how many again how many villages are covering from meghalaya state how many are from assam right total how much population will get benefit out of this community radio station if i establish in kk handy open university that quickly you can analyze without going to the fail with the help of this buffer tool right similar way if i put a irrigation canal how much land will get the benefit is an irrigated area but if you put a new canal irrigation canal how much land will get a benefit maybe with the 1 km radius that quickly it will demarcate it so under that again 1 km how much land again fallow which is not cultivable we can, which we can bring under cultivation that we can analyze we can see physically if you do the special analysis of the buffer point buffer line buffer like dryness and polygon buffer polygon buffer like you have the water body you want to make a some trench or compound wall there is a forest area you make a compound wall or you want to uh, say the state boundary is that i want to make a boundary wall in this case also you can use 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 10 meter any meter buffer if you wish you can use all three entities using this particular buffer option in gis environment which is very very important analysis tool in fact and then overlay analysis as i said for example i have the soil layer i have the agricultural crop layer 
So if I overlay agriculture layer on the soil, some area I am seeing crops are very less. Production is very less, even damaged, there is no production, almost zero. So the reasons you can find out why these crops are not growing, why the particular area is growing very well. You see the based on the soil, for example, I am growing cotton crop, I, 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 I do not have any black soil. I have pockets of black soil, but where production is very high. Because cotton crop needs black soil is suitable for cotton crop. Similar way, paddy having this different crop, horticulture crops when you grow, all clay soil will not support. So we, when you do this overlay analysis, you will be knowing the particular area is suitable or not. Site suitable analysis will type, right? Then which site is suitable, which soil is suitable for a particular crop. That you can find out when you access this overlay operations like this. And also existing already happening, why it's happening, why not good, why not bad, right? That also you can see when we overlay one upon another. And also it will help us to find out the seasonality. Overlay analysis also will help us seasonality. Perennial, the particular water body is perennial or not, you can see. When you overlay the same layer in different satellite images. Tim series, tim, right? Temporal data. Yeah, the three types of again overlay you can do. Point ka point ko par overlay kar sakta hai. Point line ko par kar sakta hai. Point polygon ko par kar sakta hai. Line polygon ko par kar sakta hai. Polygon upon polygon also you can do. But not polygon on point. Remember, always special data will be when you go for overlay, point, line, polygon. This is the hierarchy or ordering. Right? Always use these special analysis tools, point, line, polygon. This hierarchy you should maintain when you extract data, when you analyze data in GIS environment. Never be polygon on point. Always point on line, point, line on polygon can be done. Polygon never be on line or point which you cannot see the special data. Right? So this way always you have to do. You can see even in analysis of the vector data, point on point, point on line, line on line, line on polygon, point on polygon, polygon on polygon. But not polygon on point or line, right? These three ways that analysis. And lastly, we have the surface analysis, and we have one more network analysis. Surface analysis, like how your physiography look like, as I said, no digital elevation model. There is a map, exactly how your geographical data represents, right? This particular portion is elevation. How much? How it look like? Whether it is valley land or plain land or hilly area. That you can see exactly how it looks like the entire geographical area, study area using your surface analysis. We have DTM that is digital terrain model. We have a digital elevation model, right? Then we have raster and vector, both the models like TIN we have as a vector surface analysis tool. Triangulated irregular network using contours, it will generate. Contour, you are aware, no? Contour is an image line with this equal elevation, same elevation, right? It will mix wherever the same elevation goes. Like way, TIN also be generated in vector form using your surface, how it look like exactly. Then last one is network analysis in GIS. In special analysis, after measurement, after buffer, after vector analysis, after your surface analysis, you have the network analysis. This network analysis basically used to find out the shortest path. For example, I want to move from here to, for example, say Kamaki Temple. So which way is shortest path to reach the Kamaki temple from this point? Which road should I take? Which is the shortest path to reach that? There are different in network analysis also, shortest path, best path analysis. Of course, it may be short, but you will not reach in time. So which is the best path again to reach that particular destination? Right? And basically the shortest path analysis, network analysis we can be used for transportation, and also irrigation, drinking water, all linear features, road networking, right, will be used as network analysis. As I said, drinking water source is somewhere else, but I want to give different outlets for water, drinking water, households or community taps on the roadside. Then I should know what is the shortest path to reach that source to the village. Again, within the village, which are the locations suitable for giving the outlets of the drinking water tap? That exactly you can analyze like this. Which way? Because GS also having three dimensional loop, the elevation also will come as water goes through the gravitational force, the elevation also will be known. And also the exact point line polygon position will be known with the GIS system. So it will be shown which is the shortest path, how it should go, how you will reach the destination from your source or origin to destination. This can be identified from the 
network analysis. This network analysis, even health facility like ambulance services and all they are using to reach the quick, uh, shortest path to hospital and also to your accident place like 108 service. I think in Assam we have no 108. Yeah, once you call 108, they ask where accident happened. Simply they enter the, in the Google Earth, the lat long, they have the all network roads data. Ambulance, how, which is the shortest path reached to from ambulance place to the accident place. Again, they also enter the accident place to reach the hospital. What is the shortest path? Which is the shortest path to reach the accident place to hospital? Will be find out through this network analysis. They use the GIS, right? They demarcate it, they see, right? Accordingly, they follow it. So this is all. This is all about the spatial analysis we have in GIS. This is my final slide of the network analysis. And if you have any doubts, questions, you are most welcome now. One is special data processing, like what is vector, what is raster, what is point, line, polygon, how data can be generated, how data can be extracted, right? How, what is the georeferencing, how uh, data being extracted, I mean scanning or digital, then editing. So there is all database creation, what kind of data, what kind of special data models we have in GIS, like vector data model, raster data model, right? And then once you complete that mapping process, then you are coming for special analysis, right? Second unit. In the special analysis, different special analysis we have query, measurement of the geographical features, then surface analysis, network analysis. These analysis are very, very useful for planning or monitoring and evaluation. Any scheme which you do, analysis is very important. Kaha, kya hai, kitna hai. That should know through the special analysis. <coughs> This GIS or special analysis will give you not only quantification like a table, it will also give you the picture, pictorial form. Where is what? How much it is? Right? Both you will see. Simply telling that we have 100 acres of agriculture land. No, that normally without GIS you see in the table form. But in GIS, what you do? In special analysis, where that 100 acres of agriculture land you have in your geographical area will be shown in different color. That is the beauty of this GIS. Right? So, such a way special analysis will be done, where people will understand reality without going to the field, they will understand, huh, really this much is there, this much is there, this much is there. So, this is the gap where we need to think, plan for development of that area. Fellows are more, there is no drinking water, unirrigated area more, right? How we know? Through the special analysis only. Once you use a special analysis, once it comes to the pictorial form, the authority will easily understand, a layman can understand really where the gaps are there, where planning is important, right? For that, for special analysis tools will help us to authority to give approval, concentrate and do the scientific planning. In a scientific manner, one can plan exactly where things are required, facilities, assets are required, needed in your geographical area, right? There is no scope to, I mean, what do you say, escape. Exactly what is there on the earth, one has to tell through the map and the plan accepting or approving the third also you should know where is the gap, where we need to concentrate for development. Two things will come in the visible impact which we can see with our eye, right? There is no chance for duplicacy, overlapping, etc. when we use these special tools, okay? Thank you.